Blam! Death Cakes. Hey guys, there was a new trailer that dropped the other day, and it was a it was another Star Wars movie. I guess we're gonna be doing this every year now, even though three and a half of them are really bad. But uh, I guess three and a half of them are pretty good. So that means Star Wars are about fifty fifty. But uh, this movie looks great. It looks like it's going to give you a different feel. looks like it's going to be different than uh, any other Star Wars movie. You know, this one doesn't really have any Jedis in it. And, you know, there aren't any, you know, there aren't any Skywalkers to ruin the movie. Well, except one of them. But I do want to say, what's up with Forrest Whitaker's hair? In the last trailer, he had short hair, but now he's got like a bunch of hair. Well, what happened there? But this trailer also happens to showcase the Death Star and how giant and scary it is. But I mean, honestly, is it that scary? I mean, we saw them destroy it pretty easily in that first movie. And the second movie. And even this last movie. And at the end of the trailer, we got our first look at Darth Vader in this movie. And everybody's clamoring for him to come out and do something really cool, like, you know, rip down a Star Destroyer or wipe out a bunch of rebels or something real cool and badass. But, I mean, I don't know if I can look at him any differently after those prequels. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. And smooth. No! Plus, for anybody that loves Darth Vader, just remember, he, he killed all those kids that one time. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? But I guess we have to accept that he's in it, and hopefully he's going to be in there for a small bit. Maybe he'll have a cool scene, but uh, he's sporting his old classic look with that weird dome helmet. And uh, which, which, by the way, can he, can he hear in that thing? The Death Star plans are not in the main... Word of this gets out. It could generate sympathy for the rebellion in the Senate. What? Are they away? What? But I do hope they keep the classic clunky Vader. Because as we all know, this movie is a prequel. And we all know what the word prequel means to Star Wars movies. So there's just our thoughts on the Rogue One trailer. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And also check out our other videos. We got some other videos that you can check out if you subscribe and look at our other videos. Have a good day.